Hey everyone, welcome. It's Jen with Let's Get Chalking with Jen, Independent Couturier with Chalk Couture. As you come in, please make sure you say hello. And in the bottom left hand corner of your device is a share button. The greatest compliment you can give me is a share. If you are watching this live, you will see the little red box in the upper corner. <laughs> if you do not see that, you are catching the replay. Make sure you give me a hashtag replay. And if you're checking this out on YouTube, Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would love to share all my fun crafty videos with you. So hey guys, welcome. How are you? I'm kind of getting in the little mode tonight of the design we're going to be doing. It's going to be super fun. So for all of you that don't know what this is, this is a fun company called Chocator. We are a DIY home decor company. Real quick, I will tell you what we are all about. We are a revolutionary concept in DIY home decor and crafting. You won't find our products anywhere else. We do offer a line of silk screen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology chalk paste in 38 different colors. And then we have our couture inks in 30, 28 or 32. I can't remember off the top of my head different colors. We do offer several different surfaces like chalkboards, box wood frame, canvas pillowcases, and totes. But you can use our products on an array of surfaces like wood, windows, glass, dry erase boards, tin, and so, so many other things. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you is a DIY home decor business opportunity for just $99. And if you are watching from Canada, we are going to be launching there soon as well. So please make sure you let me know. I would love to get you that information. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Roberta. Thanks for hopping on. So you guys, do you love it? This is so old. This was one of my favorite hats. I've had this thing. I don't even know how long I've had this hat, but I love my hat. I thought it was perfect for our design. So let me get this all set up for you. I'm going to put myself up, up there in the corner. So check this out. We are going to be doing, hey, Melissa, this cute little design. This is called Boots and Blings. And like I said, all of our transfers are reusable transfers. And what I love is right on the back, it tells you how to peel, apply, remove, clean, dry, and store. Again, when we're done, you'll clean this up with water. You'll wipe it down with a Clorox wipe. You'll, you'll let them air dry for 10, 15 minutes, and then you put them right back on the carrier sheets, you guys, and you could reuse them all over and over again. So really, really cool, actually. You know what? Let me do something here. So do you see this shirt? I, I just think... Oh, thank you, Betty. This was that shirt I did the other night that says, um, I'm not adulting today. Tomorrow's not, doesn't look good either. I cannot tell you how many compliments I've had on this shirt. So what's really, really cute is doing this transfer tonight. I'm going to be doing this on a chalkboard, but if I wanted to, I am, and I'm totally going to do it. I am so going to make a t-shirt out of this. And that's the beauty of our transfers, you guys. So again, I'm going to put myself up there. All right, you guys, I, I got to show you this. This is from my son. Let me let me fix myself here so I can show you. It says, hi, it's me, Matthew. I was too lazy to come down here. So Matthew says, hi, you guys. Sorry, he's not down here. All right, let, let's get out of silly mode and put myself back up here to get this project started for you guys. Oh my gosh. So as you can see, this design was done. I did this on a Facebook Live when um, our catalog first launched. And what I want to show you, this is one of our beautiful new surfaces. This is actually called our board and our pillar stand. Okay. Now just to show you, it has this little peg in the back that goes right in this hole. So you can do this vertical or horizontal depending on which design you want to do. Okay. So that is just, this has actually been one of our, if I'm not mistaken, when we learned the other day, this is actually one of the most popular items we have actually been selling in our company. So I'm going to set this part aside and then we are going to do the design on this surface here. Now, like I said, this was done the other day and this was done with our chalk paste. 
And what I want to show you is number one, you can see I'm rubbing my hand all over this. So once you do a design, it is not going to come off if somebody's touching it or rubbing their hands all over it. If you've got kids that like to touch your stuff, it's not going to come off. The only way you can clean this off is if you have a little bit of water. Let me just make sure I have this on. I'm going to spray this down with some water. This is just regular water, you guys. Okay, I'm going to let that sit there for a few minutes. I'm going to totally get my fancy new board erasers that we carry. So you can use this. You can use a Clorox wipe as well, which I will probably do. But you'll take your board eraser. And with a little bit of elbow grease, you guys, as you can see, your design comes off. Okay, so the beauty of this is is if you have something done, like maybe you like to change up your decor for each and every season, every holiday, you totally can do that as long as you don't seal your surfaces. And now look at that. I have a brand new surface that I'm going to be able to chalk on to create a completely new design. So how great is that? That is the beauty of our chalk paste and our products. Now our chalk paste, I can tell you, you're not gonna find anywhere else but through a designer. This chalk paste is made in-house in our company. So that's one really, really cool thing that I love about our chalk paste. Sorry, I'm knocking things down over here. All right, so let's get this started. Now I'm gonna take my transfer. How's everyone doing tonight? Happy Monday. We have been without power most of the day. We just got it back a little while ago. We had so those really, really heavy wind storms here. It's been a little bit crazy. So that's why you see I got the curly hair right now too. Yeah, so I've had a hat on for most of the day. So I'm just gonna cut my transfer right across that line here. Okay, and then the other thing I wanna show you Right on the bottom of the transfer, that has the number one, that has the number two. Can you see that? So you're gonna put this down first and do it, then we're gonna put this down over top. So I just wanna, I hope this fits. Oh, yeah, it's gonna fit, we'll be good. Now I wanna make sure I write on the back of my transfer so that I know what side that my transfer will, Oh my gosh, back of the boot. Um, I know which side that the transfer is going to go on once I clean this up. Okay. So I'm going to set that one aside. Put my scissors away. I don't need them. Oh my gosh, he printed another one, you guys. He's so silly. My little Matthew. Nothing like wake it, wait, wasting ink, huh? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to rub it across the top edge. Okay. Please don't pick at your corners because you tend to pick apart your, your transfer carrier sheet. Take your finger, rub it over the edge to get it started. Flip it over and then you're going to remove your carrier sheet from the transfer. So this transfer is brand new. You saw me just take it out of the package. Super, super sticky. I am going to go ahead and fuzz this up. And I'm telling you what, that word's going to be in the dictionary. Fuzzing means... Chalk couture transfers need fuzzed on a terry cloth or some type of towel or t-shirt. You're just getting a little bit of fuzz on the back so that it's not as sticky. It's going to be a new word in the dictionary, right? I'm going to take this and place it right on my surface where I want it. And I just want to make sure there are no air bubbles in my silk screen. Okay? The green part... This outside green edge, you guys, I don't care. I only want to make sure the silk screen where I can see through to the bottom of my board. Just want to make sure that I don't have any air bubbles in there. And this is going to be a nice quick design for you guys tonight. So I can totally feel, maybe not. I'm going to pull this up. And you can peel it up just like that. I feel like there was an air bubble in there. All right, much better, much, much better. There we go. 
Now the other cool thing about our transfers, and I didn't point this out when I stuck them up there, is do you see these two little dots here? We're gonna chalk those because that's gonna help me line up the other one as well. Okay, so they are purposely there and then we'll just take them off once we're done with our design. So now that I've got that down, I'm gonna do, sorry, I'm gonna use our raspberry sorbet and then bark. This is our chalk paste. It is water soluble and semi-permanent. Are you guys still there? I hope you guys are still there. Somebody make sure you say hello to me so I know that you guys are still there and watching. I can't see comments for some reason. So I'm just stirring this up so that my chalk paste is like a yogurt sour cream consistency. And yes, I'm going with pink. I'm gonna have me some pink cowgirl boots. Gotta love it. And then my bark for my soul. Now this one is a little bit thicker and I don't like that consistency so I am gonna add a couple squirts of water. I gotta watch because that thing really squirts. And like I said, you just add a little bit of water, you stir it up so that you get the consistency that you want. It just spreads a lot easier. It doesn't dry as quick if it's not so thick. So that's why I like to make sure I have that consistency that I want. And then I scrape off my excess. Okay, thank you guys, thank you so much. Hey Susan, thanks for watching. Okay guys, I'm sorry, I wasn't seeing comments there for a little bit, so I just wanted to make sure. All right, so now I'm gonna take my squeegees. So I'm gonna do this in pink and then just my sole. Actually, I need this. So that's this really cool multi-purpose tool. That's what I'm gonna do the sole of my shoe in, okay? So that's what I love about the multi-purpose tool is it's great for stirring and then it's great for those really tight areas. So again, just getting my chalk paste. I'm gonna pull it across my silk screen, you guys. Again, you are scraping it. You wanna make sure you're applying pressure so that you get it inside that silk screen, okay? And then I'm gonna to try to do this the best I can around this edge down here. Of my boot, my edge of my boot. I want to move south so bad. So, so bad. Okay, put my excess back in my jar. I'm going to get my bark for my heel. And like I said, see how nice this is like so much easier with this tool to get into these small spaces. I hope you guys loved my workshops I had this pack past weekend where I did my live videos. Those girls were awesome. They all turned out really great. Okay, so I got that. And we're gonna peel and reveal this first part. Okay, get my transfer. Remember never to corner to corner, top to bottom, left to right. Looks so awesome. Oh yeah, loving my boot, you guys. Sticking that in my tub of water, nothing fancy, remember, just a little tub of water. You could do it in your sink if you're doing it by yourself. That looks awesome. That looks awesome. I'm going to dry that up because I'm going to be doing some layering. Just using my hair dryer to help dry this along. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it, Sandy. It was a blast this weekend. A lot of great projects. I loved how a lot of people's turned out. This boot is so cute. And if you guys are watching, and like I said, if you want to learn more, you can check out my website as we're going along. So you can see all the different products that we offer. All the colors of chalk paste, the surfaces, 
and you can even check out the um, business opportunity in our amazing kit. All right. So now I've got that dry. You always want to make sure that your bottom layer is dry before you add <coughs> anything on top. Sorry, you guys, I still got that little tickle. So again, I'm just going to take my finger, rub it over the edge. I'm telling wouldn't this be a cute t-shirt though, right, to go with my hat? I think this would be an awesome t-shirt. Removing my transfer. I'm going to fuzz this up. And yes, we're going to get a little bit of glitter in this because I'm using our new shimmering silver chalk paste, by the way. We have three colors that have the glitter in it or the sheen. And this is one of them. This is the shimmering silver. We have it in copper and we have it in gold. And these are just so, so pretty. Yes, Christy, all the transfers are reusable. So... Once you clean them up, like I have, I don't know if you saw, I have my transfer over here in the water. So once I'm done, I'll wipe this down with a Clorox wipe and then I'm going to let it air dry. And then I can reuse these from like eight to 15 times, depending on how well I care for them. So that's what makes it awesome is you can do things on several different surfaces. Okay. So now I'm going to get this. I got to move it closer to me. Sorry, guys so that I can line this up. Right over here. I hope I get this right, you guys. I didn't get my dots very well. So I'm going to kind of, it's still really, really sticky. Fuzzing that back up. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I got that part. That looks good. I think that looks good. I'm going to go down just a little bit. I didn't hit my dots very good, you guys. So that's the one thing you got to watch. Because you want to make sure that you put those little dots on there. And I didn't get mine on there very good. That was my fault. So if we mess up... We will just redo it. Just trying to find the best way to line this up. Because, oh, there we go. I might have got it. Just super mad that I didn't get my dots. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, making noises, I know. There we go. Much, much better. All right. No, I think we're good. Okay. So again, just smoothing it out. Sorry about that. So there's no air bubbles in there. And see these little dots? There's two, those two little dots right on each side. You're supposed to make sure you hit those in the first transfer so that it's easier to line up. But if not, you can kind of try to gauge it with the other ones. So let's see how this turns out. Worst comes to worst, we'll just take it off and redo it. So again, I'm just dipping my squeegee right in there. And then I'm going to pull this across my silk screen. Oh my gosh. I love the gold or the silver. I wish you guys, I know you can't see it as well. All the glitter that's in it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Scraping off any excess, you guys. Oh, I hope this turns out like I have it envisioned in my head. This would be so cute on a little girl's t-shirt, too. 
even a little handbag, like a little canvas tote. Oh, that would be so cute. All right, here's our peel and reveal. Oh yeah, turned out super good. Look at that, you guys. Look how cute that turned out. And I know you can't see the glitter that well in my, my lighting. I'm so sorry, but it is so, so awesome. Oh my gosh. And look how nice and crisp the letters are. You guys, super cute. It turned out perfect. All right, so like I said, do you see those two little dots there? Those were for me to line up the transfer. So originally I should have had two other ones, but I didn't and that's okay. So all I'm gonna do once again is just take a tiny little bit of water because I'm obviously not gonna leave that on my design, right? And just wipe those off. Okay, I'm gonna try this up so that some of you Oh yeah, Sandy, absolutely. Like I said, I think this would be a super cute t-shirt with my hat, right? In the summertime, how cute would that be? I wish you guys could see the glitter. It turned out really, really, really good. So you guys, that is it. That is how cute and simple. And now look, I can touch this. I'm good to touch it. It's not going to come off now. We're good to go. It's a little bit warm. But that's it, you guys. How cute is that? Do you love it? Wait, here. Wait. Oh, let me see if I can put myself up here. There we go. You love it? Super cute. It's so cute with my hat, right? Oh my gosh, you guys. It turned out really, really cute. Look at those colors. I wish you could see the glitter, but it turned out so, so good, you guys. I love it. And this is available, both the surface and the transfer and all the chalk paste are available right on my website right now. And then really, really quick, I wanna show you guys the cleanup process that I do. So I'm just gonna throw all my squeegees in here. All right, so I'm gonna clean up one of my transfers for you just so you can see how this works okay all right so got that there we're good you guys don't need to see me anymore in my fancy old hat right oh thank you guys so much like i said if you love this i would greatly appreciate it if you would share my video it's the greatest compliment you can give me you guys so here's my transfer let me take that off the screen here's my transfer that i just took out of my water Okay, all I'm going to do is take a Clorox wipe and wipe this off. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off the front. Get all that coloring off that you can. If for some reason there was any staining due to a pigment in one of the colors, you could always try to clean it with one of the board erasers. Sometimes it takes it off. Sometimes it doesn't, you guys, and it's okay. It doesn't harm the transfer whatsoever. I'm gonna use Clorox wipe. I'm gonna wipe off the back. This is the actual adhesive side. And the Clorox um, or the Lysol, either one, that actually reactivates the adhesive on these. So you'll dry that out, or you'll let this air dry. You'll clean off the rest of your transfers. You're gonna put them right back on your carrier sheets, you guys. And just so you know, you always wanna write on the back. Again, a little tip for you, if you do not, if you take your transfer, do you see how sometimes you can see like a little shiny sign? There you go. And, or a little sheen. If you happen to not write on the back, that's how you know which side your transfer goes on. But that's it, you guys. And you can create beautiful designs just like this over and over again. So I hope you actually love this quick presentation. If you have any questions for me about Chalk Couture, about our products, um, you guys, we do have a really, really awesome monthly subscription club that you can be a part of each and every month you'll receive a brand new transfer and three sample size chalk paste for just $19.99 and it's free shipping so if you love to craft if it's something you love to do 
definitely jump on board with that the transfers are absolutely exclusive the only way you'll be able to get these monthly transfers is if you are a part of that club couture and then also if you do decide to join that we also have a really quick club couture uh, kickstart kit this kit is $69.99 um, there will be shipping but at least you'll be able to have some surfaces to get started and you can again reuse them over and over and over again so I hope you guys love this. I hope you guys uh, want to learn more about Chaka Tour, be a part of that monthly subscription. You can do that right on my website. Where am I at? Right there. Right there's my website. All right, you guys. I hope you have the great rest of your Monday. I thank you so, so much for watching. And I will talk with you soon. Have a good evening.